Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at setting up a WordPress sandbox uh, within your Docker container. Today we're going to more or less focus on TrueNAS scale and we are going to just create an app which is uh, kind of a test WordPress environment where we can uh, play around with WordPress and not worry about messing up our uh, host environment and uh, get to learn plugins and how to write a plugin and all that kind of thing. Might be several videos over this, but this is essentially exactly what I did over the last several weeks. Last two weeks, I just kind of installed this sandbox environment. You can see here it's at my local subnet and I have a it's on this port, etc. This is my sandbox WordPress environment and uh, just showing that. So this has been running for a couple weeks. Um, but let's just talk a bit about this and how we get started. So <clears throat> the first thing I did was I went to Docker Hub and I said, what uh, WordPress images exist? Uh, Docker images. Uh, and there's this official WordPress Docker container here. Lots of documentation. I have other videos talking about how to do custom uh, Docker images. And I think in TrueNAS, let's just take a look if I were to click up here on discover apps pretty sure there's a natively supported WordPress image as you can see here in the community yes there is um, but what I did was I went ahead and looked at this uh, image on Docker Hub and when I scroll down here they had this uh, Docker compose script which uh, sets up a WordPress uh, image sets up a MySQL image and connects the two together with a bunch of example user, example password, things, whatever, just kind of a throwaway environment and sets them all up into sort of one container. So a really fast way of putting uh, WordPress with the database backend uh, and you could just kind of play there and not worry about um, all the configuration that's required. So what I ended up doing is I just kind of copied this script like this, copy, went into TrueNAS, and let's just take a look. I went ahead under Discover Apps. I created Custom App, clicked on this button up here. And in TrueNAS scale, um, they have two different ways of be, being able to create a custom app. One is through sort of this regular interface where you select the image and all this kind of thing and there is another way to do through docker compose um, and let's take a look at that so discover i think it's is it under this three letter thing here yeah unfortunately i'm using uh, the brave browser for this demo and so i think i have to open chrome to show this next part so let's go ahead and try that. All right, so if I click up here under the three dots, install via YAML, and that's what I wanted to do in the other one there. Um, so then you can give this a name, and I just called it WordPress Sandbox. I'll call this WordPress Sandbox 2. And in here, you can just paste your Docker Compose. Whoops. Let's recopy that from here. Back to Chrome. Paste it in, and of course, you may need to edit some items in here. Usernames, passwords, whatever. What's interesting here is, so this is a configuration for WordPress. This is the configuration for MySQL and they're using version 8 and this is how you tell which database that WordPress should use so we named this image DB and over here under the DB host you just use the same tag that you used over here and it knows how to connect the two together through that so and then of course the credentials to log into the database are the same ones that you use down here and lo and behold you have two images mixed together in one app and you're good to go and essentially that is exactly how I deployed, I'll just leave this for now, coming back to here now, that is how I deployed my WordPress Sandbox app down here, which you can see is running. I'll go in here and 
look at the configuration, I named it WordPress Sandbox, and I just kind of left the defaults, nothing too important. One thing I you should do is under the ports, make sure you map uh, to a port on your TrueNAS system that's not being used. So I just picked 10,777 because it's not used by any other app, and it will map the containers port 80 to this port so that I can actually open up WordPress uh, using that port number that's not already used. And lo and behold, port 10777 on the true NAS scale IP address. And here we have a fully functional WordPress environment, WordPress with MySQL as the back end. And uh, once it comes up, I do believe it will prompt you for an administrator, user and password, all that kind of thing that normally would happen when you set up a new WordPress image. Now what's interesting which I have not checked yet, is that all of the uh, persistence for this image, I don't think it's going to be saved. I haven't mapped anything to uh, save on my true NAS scale system. I haven't done any mapping t for the uh, uh, database to save anywhere. So I have a feeling that as soon as I restart that image, it's going to remove all the plugins and users and everything, anything added to the database will probably disappear when I restart the image. Um, and you can of course fix that if you configure the uh, volumes to save to your TrueNAS system. I have other videos talking about how to do that and we'll not be doing that here. It's more sort of Docker and TrueNAS specific configuration items, but we're just talking about how to set up a sandbox for WordPress. So just kind of grabbing this, it's perfect. It uh, creates the environment. You can go in there, install your plugins and whatnot, which I have uh, actually created. Uh, okay, I've done two of them here, so I'm going to delete these because I'm only supposed to have one. Let's delete that. And I'll just show that this works. Add a plugin, and I have created a new plugin for my hiking website uh, okay so let's and i will release this on github eventually if other people want to use it and we will get into the specifics of how to write a plugin for wordpress uh, with an environment like this this throwaway wordpress environment it's pretty cool uh, okay all right so let's try this again i think uh i what i did was i had a i added some more images to my plugin which made the file size larger than the maximum upload size that I could do to this container with the default setting so I made it smaller let's click install now and there you go it's uploaded activate the plugin um, all right so looking in my log in the app for the WordPress uh, sandbox I can see my plugin that I was trying to Activate actually has a bug, so I went ahead, fixed it. Let's uh, go ahead and re add, reinstall the fixed plugin. And there we go. Install now. Replace current. Activate. And lo and behold, we have our trail monitor plugin and in the sandbox I kind of kind of cool that you can you know click over here on the WordPress app select the app and then over here for WordPress I can click on view logs and as it pops up I can see any errors that show up in the WordPress log as I develop the plugin in WordPress and you just sort of saw an example of that so here I am and uh, we'll get into the details of writing a WordPress, WordPress plugin uh, next um, in a video after this one. But I just wanted to show in a real quick video how to set up sort of a um, throwaway environment where you can do WordPress development, even just to practice configuring WordPress, try out new plugins without messing up your production site, see how they work, see how you'd configure them. And once you do all that, then you could go ahead and apply it on a real site. 
Um, and so I did that and over here is my, uh, no, not there. Over here is my actually hiking that Prince George, that tech website where I've applied the plugin and we'll get into the details of plugin development in WordPress and how to do uh, some basic operations. We'll get into that in a technical video next. That's not really a true NAS scale video. It's more of a WordPress plugin developer video and we'll get into that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not sure if you have any questions in terms of how to set up the environment. Once again, um, I clicked on discover apps. Then I clicked on the, um, beside the custom app, there was, let's show that again. All right, in true NAS scale, we went apps, then we click discover apps. And beside the custom app button, we have this little hamburger menu install via YAML. And that's where we pasted in the uh, YAML script that gave us a WordPress plus MySQL environment combined into one container. And uh, we were able to do our development. Now, question I have, and we're gonna find out in this video, because of the way that that application was installed, it's I believe it's not persisting any of the data anywhere, which means when I restart it, um, it should lose all the changes. So for example, we have the trail monitor plugin, right? And over here on the side, we have trail monitor settings and etc. Well, what happens if I restart this image? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Restart the app. So it stopped and it's rerunning might take a few seconds. Okay, let's go back in here. Let's refresh this. Do we have to log in again or is it gonna re-enable the cookies? Okay, we're here. Looks like it's persisted it somewhere because it still has my recent activity. It still has my installed plugin. So I guess I was wrong. It's saving it somewhere um, in TrueNAS. I'm just not sure where perhaps in the IX apps folder, which I think it does by default for the apps within TrueNAS scale, if you don't configure it as a host path uh, volume. And I have videos talking about how that works. But anyways, uh, there we have it. So I was able to restart my sandbox and it in fact saved it. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next video where we get into WordPress plugin development. All right, guys, just to wrap this up, I was talking about where the data gets persisted. So one way to find out for sure is if we select the WordPress Sandbox app, we can look at the volume mount. So there's two images running. There's WordPress and there's MySQL. So in the middle of the WordPress uh, image, we click on volume mounts and we can see, in fact, it is mounting the, uh, the web data to IX apps docker volumes ix wordpress so it's doing that by default so it is storing the data under the dot ix apps docker folder i guess it does that by default if we look at the mysql image i'm sure we're going to see something similar and lo and behold it's stored right there so if i take a look at this folder on my true nas scale system we're going to see data files there and there you go. So these are all, this is MySQL database files and indexes and all that. So it is persisted on that folder by default. Um, so there you have it.